you walk upon the wings of the wind. Magic arts were practiced and with an image formed by the art and imagination of men. We, your offspring, ought not think you to be as like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's devising. You are beautiful, our love, our darling, and with eyes such as the dove, pleasant upon a bed of green, and sea of sin far gone. You are the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valleys, lily among thorns, the apple tree among the trees of the wood. Your fruit is sweet. Thou art fair of all things. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, our God, you are very great. You are clothed with majesty and splendor. You wrap yourself in light as with a garment and stretch out the heavens like a curtain. The clouds your chariot, you walk upon the wings of the wind. The winds your messengers, and we too upon the earth. Flames of fire are these your servants, and fire the Holy Spirit, life of all that is. You set the earth on its foundation, it can never be moved. And we upon the earth are your great masterpiece. There are no ordinary people. None of us has ever talked to a mere mortal. Nations, cultures, arts, civilizations, these are mortal, and their life is to ours as the life of a gnat. We touch each day in mortals, and to draw them out from their mortality to draw them unto you. Though living in the new spirit you have bestowed to us, we are not perpetually solemn. Our merriment must be of the king, which exists between people who have taken each other seriously. No flippancy, no superiority, no presumption. Art and music are not the thing itself. They are only the scent of a flower we have not yet found, the echo of a tune not yet heard, news from your country not yet visited. A man whose life has been transformed by you cannot help but have his worldview show through. Do we see works of art in our life, transparent becoming real? We to these shall surrender, look, listen, receive and keep ourselves from blocking the path you have ordained. Are you a shadow of necessity? No, you are necessity. We brought into existence no beauty or wisdom which did not before exist. We are to simply and solely embody in terms of the art of our own life some reflection of eternal beauty and wisdom. While modern music expresses feeling, thought, and imagination, old composers such as Schubert or Beethoven expressed pure feeling. Throughout the day we have thousands of feelings that cannot be put into words. So see now that music, as heaven shall have, is highest among the arts. It begins where the others leave off. And we are a divine work of art, something that you are making, God ever creating. You will not be satisfied until we attain a certain character of your ordaining. Then you will take us up. Amen.